Shabbat Shalom Saints and welcome back to Wakefulness Theology. My name is Messenger Paula and I'm just as surprised as you are to be here starting on another great adventure, another great message. Um, and so let's just get to it. This new playlist, I have no idea how many videos this is going to be. I, I have no idea. So it will just be a new playlist and we'll take it week by week. It is called Yahushua's Holy Numbers, Shapes and Symbols. I was taught, the Holy Spirit taught me a long time ago that they're not called numbers, they're called holy letters. Um, but I did not put Yahushua's holy letters because other people don't know that and so they won't, they might not know what a holy letter is, but on this channel, we refer to numbers as letters and that is because originally letters and numbers were the same thing that's why you have roman numerals you know henry v you're going to write it with a v and an i um, it's the same in hebrew and greek um, letters and numbers are interchangeable they're the same thing okay so I was taught by the Holy Spirit, Rakh HaKadosh, that they are called holy letters, okay? So that is what we're going to be talking about in this series. So the, so the first point, we are going to have to check our ego at the door. I say every day um, in my prayers that I pray that all of the victory, all the success that I have from my ministries, that I, um, that it is in, his name for his glory and for his honor okay that's that is my mantra that i i keep going in my head right um and it's pretty easy to do it until you're around other people and then they start you know saying how great you are and then it's kind of hard because that feels really good it feels really good for people to say that you're great and it feels good in your own mind to think, wow, I'm really smart, I'm so cool. It is a good feeling, right? But we're gonna have to check that at the door because it's like when you are an alcoholic and you go to AA and you say, um, my name is such and such and I'm an alcoholic, they um, have to say that, they have to declare that so that they can heal and move on, okay? And I think in the Christian community, sometimes we we feel like we know it all in a way. I don't know how to explain that, but for example, you had the Da Vinci Code that came out in early 2000s, and so we were have been introduced to the signs and symbols of Satan. Okay, his prophecies and his language. So we've had, whether you know it or not, for our whole lives, we've been inundated and educated in satanic symbolism, um, numbers, and geometry, uh, shapes, right? And so now that we've awakened to this, we might feel like we we got everything um, under wraps. Like, oh yeah, I, I, I see the Illuminati eye. Um, I see the 666. Um, I see, you know, I'm aware of these things. So I, you know, I got it. I'm cool. I'm good, right? No. Mm-mm. 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 What I'm trying to get to, saints, is that we are spiritually illiterate. And um, I'm saying this because it's going to be breaking a whole bunch of egos. A whole bunch of egos. What the Holy Spirit is telling me right now, I had no idea. I had no idea. And I feel like I'm at the front lines of this, inf this kind of information, you know? So the first thing we have to do is to admit that we are spiritually illiterate. What does that mean? Spiritual, spiritual, I mean, well, illiteracy by itself, it means ignorant in a particular subject or activity, unknowledgeable, uneducated, untaught, unschooled, uh, uncultured, poorly educated, of a piece of writing showing lack of education. That's where we are. And it's not our fault. The whole system has been set up so that we don't know this information. Okay, now the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKadosh, needs the body of Christ to be literate. Okay, that is the message here. It is time for the body of Christ to be spiritually 
literate. All right. So I don't care how you get literate. You know, I'm going to show you uh, how I got the message. And then week by week, I'm going to be sharing with you the information that the Holy Spirit is teaching me. If that's how you want to get literate, great. If you want to read the books or, or watch the movies or do your own research, you know, great. If you have dreams and the Holy Spirit is going to, you know, hopefully be teaching you uh, at the same time, that, that's great. Do all of the above. Um, the point is that we have to get literate. We got four and a half years. Now that we've accepted that we're illiterate, now we are dedicated to getting literate in, in Yahushua's holy letters and Yahushua's shapes and in Yahushua's symbols. By the end of this series, I pray in Yahushua HaMashiach's holy name, we will be able to read, write, and speak a new language, not by accident, but purposefully and willingly able to use, understand, communicate, disseminate whatever it is that the Holy Father wants us to express and wants us to know in this new language. And it's new to us, but it is the Father's holy language. So that's what this series is about. Um, you guys ready to start? So quickly before we start, I just want to give a disclaimer, guys, that I am not a mathematician. I'm not a scientist. None of that. The information I'm giving you is what Ruach HaKadosh is teaching me. All right. So by the end of this series, we're going to have the, the same information together. Sister Ashley sent me this screenshot. Now, this screenshot is from my video that I did in the last series, 222 uh, activation codes, uh, 2022 activation codes. OK, so this is one of the screenshots from my video that she took and she's pointing out the 531. And I remember I mentioned, I might have mentioned the time, or maybe I was just thinking about it in my mind and I didn't know what it meant. So I didn't bring it up, but I did notice the 531. Now this is from Troll Hunters. This is part one, episode four. So we talked about it being 14 and how important that is. Um, Gnome, your enemy. We talked about um, Noam Chomsky and we talked about the message of the, the computer and the internet and, you know, we went all of we went through all of that in that video series. So, sister, sister Ashley. So, sister Ashley sent me these two screenshots along with the other screenshot I just showed you. This is how the this is how the message began, okay? She sent me these two screenshots so we can see that this is 5:11 p.m. Notice that this is 61 and this is 91. So that's uh, mirror images of each other. This is um if you turn this upside down, you're going to have 9191, okay? Um, maybe at some point I can do the letter line for 511 and 804. I'm sure it's going to come up. But I just want to get to the main point here. So she told me, because I talked to her on the phone, and she explained that the only reason she noticed this was because her screen, her, her phone froze. And so then she noticed 135 or 531. And just to remind you, five, three, one. Okay? So this um, one, three, five, she was seeing everywhere. She probably still does. She It was just like, you know, one of those repetitions that she's seeing everywhere. And she was like, why? Why am I seeing this everywhere? And then, of course, we see in the next screenshot, one, one, one. So this is one, one, one like this. And this is one, five, three. And this is... Three, five, one, going like this, right? So you have one, five, three, three, five, one in a triangle that she she wrote the triangle herself, and then you have one, one, one. So she showed me this. Um, oh, and please notice this is Saturday twenty three. Ha! Ah, that's my my holy letter there. So she sent me this. I don't I don't remember the day. I don't remember the date, but she sent it to me months ago. I don't know, weeks or months ago. It has been a while. But I remember I looked at it and I was just like, hmm. Oh, yeah, and don't forget this right here, the 1111. All right. Oh, my gosh, and 1084. My goodness, you guys don't even. Woo. All right, we're going to, we're probably going to be analyzing this thing for, you know, the whole playlist. But um, so I looked at it and I was like, hmm. 
I know it's something. I don't know what it means, but you know, so, and I finished the last video uh, playlist. And then I was just going through my emails and I fell back on it. And that time I saw it, it was just like, Ow, I, I understood, you know? Um, and so it was real obvious. All I had to do was Google 153 triangle. That was it. That's all I had to do was Google 153 triangle. You guys will not believe. You will not, you will, maybe you will. I forget who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the elect here. So you guys will believe, but it's unbelievable. Okay. So I'll tell you the name of the book in just one second. First, I want to show you this wonder. Okay. One, five, three, one, one, one. This is um, Pascal's triangle. Okay. One, 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 one. Okay. One, five, three. You can't see it on this chart because it's one of the lines that are down here that's not filled in. So I will show you on the other uh, slide. But pretty much, it turns out, what I want to show you here is that this is a code. It is a code. The, do you see how this triangle is shaped here? I could superimpose this triangle over this triangle. Do you see it's the same shape? If, you, if we turned it just, you know, so that it was symmetric here, it's the same. One, 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 one. Okay, you guys with me, right? So the name of the book is The Pattern and the Prophecy, God's Great Code by James Heron. So if you want to read the book as we go through the series, um, it's going to be better. Most of us are getting by with the Holy Spirit just telling us or the Father just telling us or showing us or teaching us, you know, in our dreams and our voices and our visions, you know, however you're, you're getting your messages. Um, but it's a difference. If I am reading a book to you or I am telling you the information, you'll get the information, but how much more will you understand if you're able to read it for yourself? Right. So this is true when it comes to reading uh, God's um, earth, God's creation, as it is with reading a book. And um, so what the Holy Spirit is teaching us is that it's good that we are getting the messages directly from her. Um, and also now we will be spiritually literate. Uh, very soon and we should be applying this in our lives to build our faith and our strength and as well in this situation you should be reading this book yourself and not just relying on me telling you it okay but if you're not able to do it then you know hey so this is what uh is called the pascal pascal's triangle if you inspect the third column highlighted of the figure above, you will notice it contains, contains nothing but the triangle's numbers 136. 136. By expanding this design downward, any triangle can be found. New rows are easily produced by adding the two quantities directly above and to uh, the, the right. So pretty much you have one, and then one plus one is two, and then one plus two is three, and then one plus three is four, and then one plus four is five, and then one plus five is six, etc. Well, one and two and three, one, two, three, three, four, five, six. So you see, you're just adding like this, and each time you get a row, and it just continues. So the reason we are doing threes is because I, 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 what I'm trying to do, I'm not going to be able to explain everything in this video. What I'm trying to do is just introduce to you what we will be talking about, okay? So in order to do that, it's important to show you this part, um, that the numbers can be arranged as shown in the figure below are triangle numbers, okay? So what it means is that you have one, so that's one dot, which by itself is a triangle. One plus two 
equals three. You have three dots and that is a triangle. One plus two plus three is six. And then you have a triangle. One plus two plus three plus four is 10. And then you have a triangle. So you can keep doing this for, uh, but it, it goes into the thousands, I think two, maybe 2000 something. Uh, before it repeats if I'm not mistaken so pretty much you have one three six and ten are the the triangle numbers so this chart right here is giving you um, what I just showed you a few minutes ago it's giving you it's giving you this it's give it's showing how this what this represents right this represents the triangle numbers that's what this represents right here that the Holy Spirit gave us when you follow this process all the way down, you will see that the 17th triangle is 153. 153. 153. It would be the 17th line down here. 153. One five three. Or as in the screenshot that she sent from my video, 351. What is 153? The first, the, the first 46 tri triangle numbers. Triangle numbers are not common. Up to 1,000, only 4% are such. When the numbers get even larger, the special ones become extremely rare. For example, the first 2 million numbers, fewer than 2,000 are triangular. So we're talking about uh, only 4% of all numbers are triangular. What is important about the triangular numbers is that this represents the Trinity. Saints, the last message from 2022, we were talking about parallel universes. And I was saying, be very careful because I don't know what the deception is, but I know there got to be a deception in there somewhere. And I think I found it. It's not a parallel it's not parallel universes it's not multi dimensions it's a tri universe of the trinity that's why the triangle is a holy shape it is holy geometry it is yahushua's holy geometry the triangle not the pyramid the pyramid is our enemy but the triangle is holy because you have one, two, three, the Trinity. So this is a shape of the triangle of creation at 100,000 particles of the whole magnificent pattern. Uh, you can, you can start to see, uh, how it shapes up. So the Godhead is a trinity, not just three separate gods or a triad. The parts of the Holy Trinity are like the three sides or points of a triangle, just different aspects of the same figure, the same mysterious transcendental being. However, if God existed only as an ultimate mystery, then man could never know him. For this reason, he revealed him part of himself through his son, Yahushua. Perhaps the son is all we shall ever truly know of the Father, yet the trinity dwells in the works of creation as well as the word paul said as much in this chapter quote for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made our world is not a multiverse They tried to lie to us, saints. We got them. Mm -mm -mm. The Holy Spirit will not let these people deceive us. I tell you right now, they can try, they can lie, they can cheat, they can hide. But you know what? The Holy Spirit is going to tell, tell the children. All right. It is a tri-universe of matter, space, time, parallel to the very nature of the creator. Remarkably, each of the natural world's elements is also a trinity. So he goes into that again, pause, read, get the book. The book was like eight euros. Um, it won't break your bank because obviously I'm not going to be able to go through each page. What I'm going to try to do is um, the Holy Spirit is pretty much everything that she has taught me over these years. Like even the the letter lines and the book I'm writing, she is she's explaining to me now why 
you know, when I'm doing these holy letters, I break them up into three. She told me to do that. I didn't know why. I just was doing that. And now she's explaining because it's the Trinity. Three is the holy, right? So, um, she's, I mean, I'm learning the, the literacy, the understanding behind why I'm doing these things. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. First, it's, it's like backwards. First, she tells you what to do. You do what Rock Hakadesh says to do. And then they explain why you had to do it. But you understand the why after. Okay. First, you just have to be obedient and go on faith and just do it first. And then you understand why. Okay. So now I'm getting the information of why. And um, I'm getting the complementary information that I need to, to complete the puzzle. I would suggest, highly suggest reading the book yourself. So pretty much we're talking about right now in this video, we're talking about 153, just the beginning of it. I, it will take many more videos to deal with this. But in general, it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7, and you go all the way up and um, you get 153. All right. So when you're talking about the qualities of 153, it is just miraculous. 153 is triangular, one of God's foundation numbers. The intense triangularity of 153 reveals itself in every direction. Consider the following 1 times 2 times 3. With this type of notation, it is possible to express our number as a sum of fractionals. So 1 times 1, 1 times 2, 1 times 2 times 3, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, but we're going to write it in this symbology right here, but this is what it represents. So then when you multiply all those things up and you add them, you get 153. So um, in this particular video, I, I'm not going to go into depth about how awesome the holy letter 153 is, but in general, just know that it represents this represents the fishes and the net from uh, the verse I think it's the John's verse uh, in John 21 1 through 14 the miraculous uh, catch of fish is also called the miraculous catch of 153 fish and it seems to recall the first catch okay so you guys can look that up yourself in the Bible that's John 21 1 through 14 so this Holy letter 153 represents one third of all numbers. Okay, so as we go through this, this is miraculous. This is proof of intelligent design in the universe, in the Bible. This stuff is revolutionary. This stuff will make someone believe because you don't have to believe on an, an, an invisible, you know, person with a beard and, and a white uh, robe in the sky. You don't have to believe that. You can see with your own eyes. You can show people with their own eyes in the Bible how these numbers and these shapes and these quantities and these symbols mean something. When you have spiritual literacy, you can just see. It's not even hidden. It's been there all along. They just kept us stupid and in the dark. Now the Holy Spirit, Rock HaKadosh, wants us to wake up now. She wants us to learn how to read now. It changes. It will change your life. It will change people's life. It will bring people to the kingdom. One, five, three saints of every number in existence. It comes down to one, five, three when you bring it down to its smallest denominator. One third. The constant one, five, three is at the center of the net. It catches one third of all numbers. You have the internet. You have one that's on the computer and you have a real one, a spiritual one that we are caught in. One, five, three. So one, five, three, the holy triangle that represents, I don't think you got, I don't think I've explained it well. I feel like I have not showed the mystery and the mastery of what 153 represents. But for the parable of the net here, once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. 
When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up on shore. Then they sat down and collected the good fish in baskets, but threw the bad away. This is how it will be at the end of the age. One third, one, five, three, fish will be caught. Three percent. One, five, three, it has a resurrection property. So again, you take, I will show you in the future videos, uh, but you take one, five, three separately and you square each one separately, then you multiply each one separately, and then you get these quantities, and then you add them together and you get it again. So 153, the pre-image, this is what you call the pre-image or the image, and then after the calculation is the image, is the same, right? Um, so the Trinity rule displays the consistency. So this is what they're calling Yahushua's number. It is either, it is neither transformed, altered, or changed. Okay, reapplying the rule each time shows how 153 resurrects itself. On the other hand, okay, we're not going to get into the, the 666 in this video. That's another time. I just want to quickly, I, I just want you guys to be geeked up on this because I, I want you to understand how important this message is for us in the whole land declares the lord two-thirds will be struck down and perish yet one-third will be left in it this third i will bring into the fire i will refine them like silver and test them like gold they will call on my name and i will answer them what that is exactly what the message was uh that yahushua gave me last year um the uh, holy fire will burn through the church. That was exactly the message. This is what it is saying. The church is one third. The church is one, five, three, one, five, three. In this question, the prophet paints an apocalyptic picture of the end times and the establishment of Messiah's kingdom. This one third will include the last remnant of the Jewish people who recognize and follow Jesus as their Messiah at his second coming. And we've already talked on his channel about who spiritual Israel is, who are the real Hebrews. And we've already gone over that. So see old videos if you are not sure, but we are not talking about people who live on that little strip of land in the Middle East. We're talking about people all scattered all over the world, all different races and colors and languages and nationalities. This is the remnant. As we shall learn, this one third is also an outstanding attribute of 153. So then he goes down and he breaks to explain the proceeding, please choose any number you wish. There is only one condition. It must be a multiple of three. So that you, so suppose you chose to pick 1776. That's the birth of America. Now apply the Trinity function to it. So you take each individual letter and you um, uh, square it. And then you do the multiplication on that. And then um, you take that result uh, image and then you square it and then you take that and you square it and you just keep going down 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 and the final outcome will always be one third of the time one five three look at that so when we do it in one string that shows how one seven seventy six will end up as one five three isn't that something and it doesn't matter how large the number you start with uh, it could have a trillion um, digits as long as it's uh, divisible by three uh, and that is one third of all quantities by continually applying the trinity root, r rule to the output the process quickly ends at one five three Whew. and luckily my my number two three seven is div divisible by three i got nervous there i was like oh my gosh i'm not divisible by three Whew. that was close no other number, be it 666 or whatever, can copy or counterfeit this outstanding property. So total, so totally singular is this characteristic, characteristic that out of the whole of God's created quantities, none can imitate it. 
This establishes the sacred uniqueness of 153, the most fabulous number in the Bible. So what we're going to be talking about in the future um, as we become spiritually literate um, and we're able to read the Bible on all kinds of different levels that we never imagined before, we will see the proof. We will see the proof because these things are like one in a billion or simply impossible. It's not random. It's not by chance. This is solid mathematical fact. Y'all hearing me? God creates order, not chaos. The Trinity function, when you uh, uh, square a number and add them together, um, gives the following properties. That 153 is fixed, constant, and unchangeable. One third of all numbers go to 153. This represents, this is a, a representation of Jesus, Yahushua. And all quantities larger than 2,000 behave differently than those smaller than 2,000, the unwashed numbers. So as I showed you earlier, the constant 153 is at the center of the net. It catches one third of all numbers. Only multiples of three are used and just quantities below 2,000 are shown because after that, so after 2000, it just repeats. There's no new information after 2000. So here in closing, 153 is Yahushua's celestial number. It represents um, resurrection. Um, and it is as well as 888 will be associated with our Lord uh, Yahushua for all eternity in the phrase Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Savior. 153 refers to Son of God and 888, the Savior. So I'm going to stop here with this. Um, and I'm going to just try to, I'm going to let the Ruach HaKadosh guide me week by week and point out just one point of, of each, um, either holy letter, uh, holy um, shape, or holy symbol and show how it is applied in real life whether it's a movie whether it's a you know repetition or, or whatever's going on with us at that time um, in the Bible you have these triangle numbers I told you tri the triangle is holy it's representing the Trinity Trinity and we are in a tri universe okay so num the holy letter one is God as unity the holy letter three is the Trinity or the triad the holy letter six is the days of creation 45 is Adam created in God's triangular triangle image uh, 153 is Yahushua, as we've just talked about. Um, 666 is the Antichrist, and 1081 is God's Holy Spirit, which we will go in depth about later in other videos. Um, now, and, and we have to remember there's a difference between uh, the symbolism and the holy letter. So we talked before about 444 representing Yahushua as well. We're talking symbolically as like a symbol, like the cross is a symbol, right? So it's a difference. So we are going to go over all of the things that represent Yahushua um, in all the different ways. So guys, as I, as I started the video saying that we are spiritually illiterate, um, myself included, we're going to go through this education uh, Ruach HaKadosh is about to put us through uh, a reading, a spiritual reading program. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know how long it will be, but by the end of this process, we will be spiritually literate and the world will never be the same. The way we see the world, interact with the world will never be the same. It will be impossible to almost nearly impossible to deceive us as that verse says um, the deception is going to get so great that even the elect could be deceived if it were possible but guess what the Lord Yahushua HaMashiach just made it nearly impossible for us to be deceived by giving us this education so I hope that you're going to receive it as I said I don't really care how you go about that whether you watch these videos and you read the books or you you know the Holy Spirit teaches you at the same time God bless you um, I hope all of the above the point is is at the end of the day we need to be spiritually literate all right so in the next video I'm going to use this movie to show the blasphemy and to show the deception 
and to show the links that the enemy is going through to 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 warp our minds and to get us cause us um, to worship the evil one and to rebel against Yahushua. It is the most, when you have the spiritual eyes and ears and you are spiritually literate, it is so obvious. It is so obvious and they do it in every movie all the time. Okay? So at the end of the day, these are not the heroes. These are the bad ones. Okay? Maybe there's some symbolism. We're not meant to be that way, but they have twisted it. This is Satan right here. Okay? And the evil guy that is in this movie is actually supposed to be Yahushua, but they made him the devil too. Talk about Eve. I mean, talk about ego. Um, so I even have some thoughts about the date that it was released. These are triangular numbers here, right? So look, guys, I'm going to stop the video here. And I, I, I apologize that my video isn't organized better but i i like i said i'm learning at the same time that i'm expressing so it's like literally like uh, uh like i'm eating the information and spitting it out i don't even have time to digest it myself right so it's like so i know that was kind of like a nasty <laughs> image you know but that's what it feels like you know um so bear with me and i pray that um you are blessed from this information as I am being blessed. And um, I pray that uh, all of this is for the edification of the body of Christ. I pray that it be in Yahushua HaMashiach's holy name uh, for his glory and for the Most Father's, the Most High Father's honor and his glory. I love you guys uh, so very much and I hope you have a very good day. Mwah. Shalom. Thank you.